what is up youtube how are you guys doing today i'm going to be explaining to you how the arma 3 damage system for infantry works now uh to get into this the first thing i'm doing all this inside the battle royale firing range now something cool about the battle royale firing range is that you can spawn in targets and the targets will give you feedback on the damage that they've taken where they've taken the damage how much health they've taken it's a, it's a really cool it's a really cool place to test out things i'm going to be using it to explain to you um exactly how the arma 3 damage system works so to first get into this um i've got this guy in front of me he's wearing af aaf fatigues they contain no armor he's also wearing an elbv harness that contains no armor so if i shoot this guy once in the chest he's gonna die now the question is is why did the guy die so we're going to be trying to figure it out so let's take a look at what happens if i shoot someone that's armor this guy he's wearing some urban urban fatigues which contain armor and also his carrier vest it's a level three armor it's uh it's obviously gonna be protecting him as well so let's take a shot at this guy's chest and let's look at some figures so i just shot this guy his health is actually still at 100 so he didn't take any health damage now the other things that I need you to look at is below. There's a face equals zero, neck equals zero, etc. Head, pelvis, abdomen, diaphragm, chest, body, arms, hands, and legs. What those are, those are hitboxes. So, you can see that his chest and his body hitbox are, have taken, uh, it looks like 11 damage, right? 11 damage. If you were to just look at this guy's health, you would think that this bullet did absolutely nothing to him. You'd think you could probably shoot this guy all day and he's not going to die. Let's uh, let's take a few more shots and let's see how much his health bar actually goes down. Let's see. I've taken like five shots. He's at 98 health. So he's only taken two health damage. However, his chest hitbox is racking up damage each time, right? His chest hitbox, each time I shoot him, it's going up and up and up. It's actually at 92% damage right now. But his health overall is at 96, so he's actually he seems pretty healthy, right? However, if I shoot this guy one more time, what's well, gonna end up happening? He's gonna die. So why did he die? He died because his ch chest hitbox reached 100% damage. It wasn't due to his health. It was due to his chest hit hitbox reaching 100% damage. If you were a newer player to the game. You would think that if you had 96 health, there's no way that you're going to die from another one of these shots. However, if you knew a little bit more about it, you would know that if the chest, your chest hitbox reaches 100% damage, it's going to end up killing you. Now, it's the same thing with your abdomen hitbox. It's the same thing with your diaphragm hitbox, your pelvis hitbox, your neck, your head, your face hitbox. Anything that contains vital organs, like your face, your neck... Your head, your pelvis, your abdomen, diaphragm, chest, and your body hitboxes. If any of those are 100% damaged, you're going to die. I'll I'll show you right here. Let's let's take let's take some shots at this guy's abdomen instead. This abdomen area. It's gonna take a lot of shots. This guy's wearing some heavier armor, but I'm doing this just to demonstrate to you how it works with different hitboxes. Because you can see the figures going up. And once this guy's diaphragm, his diaphragm is the most damaged hitbox right now. Once this reaches 100, he's going to die. Even though he's at 94 HP, one more shot's going to end up killing him. So a lot of the time, people get frustrated or they don't understand, at least in Battle Royale, uh, how somebody's taken so many shots and lived. And how that actually happens is, say you're, you're in full automatic and you take some shots at somebody and you hit him uh, like 10 times. There's... What's probably happened, if he's still alive, is you've damaged many different hitboxes, but you've never damaged one fully to 100% damage to kill him. Most of the time, if a guy is well armored, he's never going to end up dying from health damage, unless you're shooting him maybe in the legs or the arms. The legs or the arms, um, you can do a lot more health damage. That's when health damage comes into play, is in arm and leg shots. That's where your health bar actually means something. Uh, mostly though, if you're shooting someone in the chest where they're armored, it's going to come down to you damaging one of their, uh, vital organ hitboxes to 100. Now, like to demonstrate this, let me just show you how many shots it can take to actually kill someone. 
how many shots somebody can live from this is 45 acp but let me let me let me let me shoot this guy and damage him up a little bit let's see let's see his chest hitbox still not up there yet let's see one more shot okay his chest bo hitbox is pretty well damaged now let's uh let's start shooting him more towards his abdomen area All right, diaphragm's pretty well damaged now. Looks like we're starting to damage his abdomen hitbox some. Two full mags into him. Now the pelvis. All right, his pelvis hitbox damage. Start taking some shots at his arms. Let's see if we can make it all through these mags. Hit him with what? Three mags of 45 ACP so far? I missed a couple of those shots at the beginning, but looks like he's taken, I missed, I think like three of those shots towards the end because I couldn't really see his arm due to the, uh, the yellow, but I think I hit him with, um, there was definitely three mags. I probably missed about three shots and then I used up another, what, another three. So about 30 rounds of 40 AC, 40, 45 ACP has hit this guy. And as you can see, he's still alive. His health's actually at three. So what did I do? What did I do exactly? I damaged all of his vital organ hitboxes, except for his face and neck and head hitboxes. His like his pelvis, his abdomen, his diaphragm, his chest. I damaged them all before one like one shot before he would die. And then I shot him in his arms because what what happens? Basically, let me break this down. Your arms and your hands and your legs hitbox. To explain those a little bit more, if your legs reach fifty percent damaged. That's when your legs break, and that's when your guy will start doing the limp animation in Arma. If your hands and your arms are damaged, it'll cause you to sway more. Now, the, the, the sway depends on how much the, your arms and hands are damaged. If your arms and hands are heavily damaged, you're going to have a ton of sway. If they're not damaged as much, you're not going to be swaying quite as much. So basically, what I'm trying to explain to you with this is, is you can shoot someone many, many times, but if you don't damage one of their vital organ hitboxes, Fully, they can still be up and running around. I can show you the same exact thing actually with 556. Five, let's uh let's do the same thing with 556 five, now. So let's see, shoot him two, three, four times in the chest, and let's shoot him in his abdomen. Abdomen hitbox is pretty well damaged. We can even get away with some some pelvis shots. Now his pelvis is pretty damaged. He's at 16 HP. I've fired 12 five, five, six rounds into this guy's torso area, and he's still alive. He's still alive. Now, something I would also like to demonstrate to you or explain to you is how bullet damage works in Arma 3. As you see, this guy survived, what, 12 shots. He's just survived an insane amount of shots. Now, also... Let's uh let's take a look at some of his hitboxes and how they were damaged. It looks like his face, his neck hitbox, his head hitbox, his legs are damaged, his arms are damaged, and his hands are damaged. Now how are those damaged? Because I didn't actually shoot him in his face, neck, head, arms, etc. What happens when a bullet impacts a player is there's a damage ripple effect. And now to explain this and a good way to to picture this is imagine like uh imagine 45 acp or a nine millimeter being like smaller rocks uh like uh like half the size as your of your fist right you throw one of those into a lake and there's an impact and then there's a ripple effect now the ripple effect from a smaller rock isn't that big but let's say like you're using 556 five, think of 556 five, is like a fist sized rock you know you throw a fist-sized rock into the water, 
there's a much bigger impact and a much bigger ripple. Now you think, maybe think of like uh, 762 as like a cantaloupe sized rock, right? You throw that in, it's going to be much larger. Think of like a tank round as a giant boulder being dropped into a lake. The impact is ginormous. The ripple is going to be waves, a shock wave sent out. That's how damage is distributed across your body when a bullet impacts it. So 5.56, five, the ripple is a pretty good size. So this guy's going to be taking damage in any hitbox close to where I shot him as well. So that's how his, his face hitbox is damaged is because I shot him in the chest and some of that, some of that ripple... Some of the ripple or the impact power went up to his face hitbox as well. So his face hitbox got damaged as well. That's why higher caliber guns do more damage. They do more health damage in general. And they do more damage to your hitboxes on the impact. And they do more damage on a spread through the body. That's why it's much easier to kill people with 7.62 guns in Armor 3. Higher caliber weapons in Armor 3. So what should you be taking away from this is... What you should be taking away from this is, is you sh need to be grouping all of your shots in the same hitbox area. If you're going to aim for someone's chest, you got to hit all of your shots in someone's chest in order to kill them in far fewer shots. Of course, you can always go for the head because the head on a guy is going to be something far easier to damage because it's not that, that armored. Helmets don't provide that crazy amount of protection for a guy in armor 3, so... Uh, if you take just one shot towards this guy's face hitbox, his face hitbox is going to be 100% damage and is going to end up killing him. The last thing I'll say is that there's many, many factors on how damage affects you in Arma 3. Um, the distance that what you're at, the velocity of the bullet, the size of the round, the angle that the round hits you, the armor that you have on. There's, there's tons and tons of factors. In the future, I'm going to be making a video about armor and how it protects you in battle royale mod so definitely be looking out for that and also if you have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave it in the comment section down below and i'll try to do my absolute best to answer it for you but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope the video helped you out maybe it explains some something for you uh, something to you educated you a little bit more on the damage system in arma 3 like always if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that thumbs up Subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.